Yo, what's good, basketball heads? It's your boy Crush. So let's talk about this Josh Giddy situation. You know, him messing with a minor. And nobody on ESPN is covering it. Everybody's quiet as a mouse. They're trying to let it die down. So no Stephen A. and Malika Andrews. But they always seem to jump on top of situations involving brothers. Like when Ime Yudoka had a situation with Boston. Oh, she was on top of that. When Kyrie Irving had his situation with the jab. She was on top of that. You know, when Brett Favre had his situation where he stole money, nobody said nothing. Stephen A. didn't cover it. Malika, nobody covered it. As you can notice, there's an agenda. They are always quick to jump on situation involving the brothers. But situation involving the other man, nobody say anything. Let it die down. Just let it be. And you can see the BS, man. So Des Bryant called out Malika Andrews for blatantly picking and choosing when to say something. She don't say stuff about the other man. You know why. But every situation, any opportunity, any opportunity she get to tear down the brother man, you know she's on top of it. She's on top of it. She's like a watchdog waiting for a situation with the brother man. Once something comes out, anything, it don't matter what it is, if it involves the brother man, she's going to jump on top of it and try to destroy dudes, but when it comes to the other man, she's quiet. And obviously, she's a puppet for ESPN, you know. Stephen A., same thing, they're puppets, you know. They only cover specifics. Anything that could degrade the brother man, they will cover it. There are multiple instances and situations where Stephen A. didn't say nothing involving the other man. The Brett Favre situation, the Dallas Cowboys owner situation, nobody really said anything. Because like I said again, whenever it involved the other man, nobody has anything to say. But Malika Andrews is quick to tear down a brother, find any fault. She, you know, she'd be looking for things to cover so she could destroy a brother. And the sad part is she's a black woman. Yes, she's mixed, but she's a black woman. And that's the sad part about it. So you know there's some kind of self-hatred somewhere in there. Because how can you be a black woman? And you're quick to destroy a brother. But she's always quick to jump up and try to defend the sisters. So it's like she hates black men or something. It's weird. She will defend a black woman. She will, you know, put up a black fist of power and try to defend a black woman. But if it's a brother, oh man, forget it. She's quick to destroy you, annihilate you, you know, assassinate your character. So she's a beautiful woman on the outside. But I don't like her as a person from what I'm seeing. Don't like her. And it's disgusting what ESPN is doing, man. And it's, it's so obvious and blatant what they do. They protect their own, but they're quick to destroy a brother, man. And what's crazy is all these dudes who are brothers who work for ESPN, how can you allow stuff like that? I get it. You got a job to do, but you can't forget you're a black man. And that's the crazy part. Dudes who turn the other cheek, turn the other eye and act like they don't see what's going on. So that's Brian, you know, he called out Malika Andrews for her blatant hypocrisy, you know, always trying to destroy her brother, always. But when some situation happened with the other man, she's quiet as a mouse. She's a mime. She can't speak. Whenever it's a situation that involves another group, she can't speak. But if it's a brother, man, she has all the things to say. She has a lot of ammo for the brothers. And that's disgusting, man. That is disgusting. This man is accused of messing with minors and nobody has nothing to say. But any situation with a brother, any situation, it don't matter what it is, they're on go. They're always on go when it comes to the brothers. Any situation, they're on go. You know, we got to destroy these dudes, tear them down. And that's crazy because you share the same skin color. You're the same race. I don't get it. I mean, I get it. I know what they're doing, but I don't get it how you as a person would allow any money or job to manipulate you to do something that's disgusting. But you know what? People will do anything for money. It doesn't matter. When it comes to money, people will throw all their morals out the window and do things that they normally wouldn't do just to get a paycheck. And I know ESPN is using Malika as a puppet. We all know this. She popped up out of nowhere a few years ago. And ever since, all she's been doing is destroying brothers. That's all she do. All she do is destroy brothers. So that's Brian had a lot of smoke for Malika Andrews because he's like, hold on. So you came for Brandon Miller's neck 
on draft night, but a situation involving a minor, you're quiet? Hold on, what's going on here? What is going on here? And I feel where it's coming from. Like, what's up? What's up? Y'all not going to say something? So Brandon Miller's situation, which he wasn't even found guilty for, you felt the need to bring that up. But you're quiet about Josh Giddy dealing with a minor? So this is what Des Bryant had to say. Malika Andrews, you went out of your way to crucify Brandon Miller on draft day over something he didn't even do. Why haven't you said nothing about Josh Giddy? I advise you to not make this a black or white thing. Your parents really raised you wrong. And just because you went to a private school, it don't make you better. You appeal and know your kind. You're just a puppet. I don't know a former or current NBA player could sit there across from you and look at you with some kind of respect. And I agree wholeheartedly with what he's saying. It's true. She's a puppet. I don't think she's even doing what she do because she really feels that way. Maybe she does a little. I don't feel like she 100% feel that way. I feel like ESPN, they tell her, you know what, this is what we want you to do, you know, and she's going to do what she got to do for the bag. But what's crazy about the situation is she's a black woman. Yes, she's mixed, but her father is black. So it's not like she's a white person, not trying to make it about race. I'm just saying she's a black woman. And that's the crazy part about it. But she's always destroying the brothers. She's always out to destroy the brothers. I don't get it. Like, what's that about? I mean, you know, she came for a lot of players in the past. You know, she came for Brandon Miller. She came for Coach Ime Udoka. She came for Derrick Rose. What's up? But she can't go for the other man. She's going to be quiet when it comes to the other man because the other man could do no wrong. We must protect the other man at all costs. But I'm willing to destroy the brother man who looked just like me. And that's sad, man. So like I said, she's a beautiful woman, but I can't respect her. I don't like what she stand for. I don't like what she's doing, been doing. How can you respect that? Somebody who's always trying to destroy their own kind. You know, he'll cover black athletes with all situations, but he won't cover white dudes. He'll ignore it. They all do the same thing. If you have been watching Malika Andrews, Stephen A. through the years, you know what they do. They pick and choose. Anything involving somebody who's of the other, not a black man, they won't cover it. Or they won't say much because, you know, we're not allowed or we're not trying to, you know, we're trying to please our bosses or, you know, we're not allowed to say anything. But when it comes to the brother man, they have a whole lot to say. They could write a book when it comes to the brother man. Whenever a black athlete or somebody do something or a coach or whatever, they have a whole lot to say. And if you know, you just know, man, and it's disgusting. But it's no surprise. You know how it is, man. There is always an agenda. There's always an agenda. No matter what, whether it's sports, in life, whatever it is, when it comes to the brother, man, there's always an agenda. But as always, I'll holla. As always, we just talking basketball. Hit the subscribe button, like, comment, share, holla at your boy. It's all about the game and how you play it. It's all about the game, I'ma say it. It's all about the game.